February 2024's live webinar. Uh, tonight we're going to discuss what does a professional land surveyor do. So if you're considering a career change into land surveying, it's an exciting field that combines outdoor work with technical expertise, offering opportunities for problem solving, uh, professional growth, the strong mathematical skills, and the willingness to learn. And you can uh, basically achieve uh, a great fulfilling journey in land surveying, shaping the landscape of tomorrow. So surveyors are basically professionals who measure and map the Earth's surface. Uh, they play a crucial role in various industries, including construction, engineering, land development, and urban planning. And here are some of the common uh, tasks that are performed by land surveyors. All right, so tonight we're going to cover a little bit about occupational growth, uh, land measurements, uh, construction layout, topographic mapping, geodetic surveying, boundary disputes, subdivision planning, and monitoring and controlling. So things that a professional land surveyor does. And again, for those that don't know, my name is Chris with NLC Test Prep, and I'll be your host tonight. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to follow us for all the new content coming up. All right, so let's start off first, occupational outlook. So uh, typically you'll need a bachelor's degree, but every state varies. Um, so I would recommend giving us a call at 877-758-6262. We can discuss what's the requirements if you're not sure for your state how to go how, and how to go about getting you know licensed. Some states require an associate, some require a bachelor's, some you can do it uh, strictly off experience. All right, so occupational outlook though. So let's start off with this. So as of 2022, the median uh, pay $63,000 per year. Uh, typical entry level education, again, like I said, it's bachelor's degree, about $30. Work experience uh, is kind of going to depend on your state again, anywhere from I'd say two to six years. Uh, you can do on the job training, there's internships, residencies, number of jobs, uh, 50,000. And it's about 5% uh, faster than average for growth. So there is a good opportunity to get into it uh, and grow with the um, ever-changing land survey. All right, let's take a look next. There we go. And all this can be found at the links that I've got down below. So if you guys do have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or go ahead and take a look at the links. I've got them directly on the page for you as well. So employment for surveyors is projected to grow 5% from 2022 to 2032 faster than the average of all occupations. So about 3,500 openings for surveyors are projected each year on average. Over the decade, um, many of the job openings are expected to result from replacing the workers who are transferring to different occupations or exiting the labor force, such as retirement. So I did find an article from the Engineering News and Record. I uh, posted it, like I said, on the bottom here. Uh, according to the article, and I quote, uh, I did a quick online review of what careers are being recommended in high school and middle school students, and surveying did not make any of the list. That's an, that is unfortunate. According to Princeton's review, surveyor, jobs opportun sorry, surveyor job opportunities are expected to increase more than 20% in the next 10 years. Wow, that's, that's a lot. So, Furthermore, uh, surveying offers stable hours, decent pay, plus the job satisfaction increases as the experience increases. So just like with any other opportunity, as soon as you get in the, gain that knowledge, experience, and time, you'll get paid more as well. All right, thank you for letting me know the audio is low. Let me turn it up a little bit. We'll try that. All right, next, let's go into land management. Land management surveyors play a crucial role in managing and overseeing various aspects of land use, development, and conservation. Their responsibilities, responsibilities typically include boundary surveys, land subdivision, <coughs> excuse me, land development planning, environmental at, uh, assessments, land conservation and preservation, land use planning, 
and regulation compliance. So there's a lot of different things just in land management alone that surveyors will do. Alright, so overall the land management surveyors play a crucial role in the balancing needs for development with environmental conservation and community interest by providing accurate survey data, technical expertise, and strategic guidance. They contribute to their responsibility, responsible stewardship and sustained management for land resources. Alright, it shows that it's on. Alright, can you hear me now? Is that any better? Can you guys hear me now? Testing. Let me know if you guys can hear this now. It's showing I'm getting feedback, so you should be able to hear it. You guys should be able to hear me now. It's showing it's coming up on here. I can hear myself. Let me know if you're still having trouble hearing me. All right. We're going to assume that you can hear me. I didn't see anything else in there. Uh, all right, so what does a professional land surveyor do? For those that couldn't hear me, I do apologize. Uh, so we're going to cover, you know, occupational growth, land, man, land measurements, construction layout, topographic mapping, geodetic surveying, boundary disputes, subdivision planning, and monitoring and control. So again, real quick overcap on the occupational outlook. I've got the link down below of where I found this information. According to 2022, median pay is about 63000 for land surveyors. It's about $30 an hour. Uh, again, every state's a little bit different. Typically a bachelor's degree. Some can do it strictly off experience. Okay, great. Thank you for letting me know. All right, you guys can hear me, so perfect. All right, so yeah, like I said, so education, typically a bachelor's degree. Some states will allow an associate's degree and other states you can do it strictly off of experience. Every state varies, so if you do have any questions, just give us a call at 877-758-6262, and we can discuss what your state requires to get you licensed as quickly as uh, possible. All right, work experience and related occupation. Typically, there isn't any until you get that degree or, you know, go into it. You know, there's always on-the-job uh, apprenticeships and things like that. Uh, the amount of jobs approximately 50,000 um, and it's a 5% which is faster than average for growth so there's definitely a good way or good opportunity to get into land surveying okay so employment for surveyors is projected to grow 5% from 2022 to 20 2032 apologize faster than average for all occupations about 3,500 openings for surveyors are projected each year on average over the decade so there's a lot of people that are retiring a lot of people transitioning out and uh, basically they're expected to be 20% in the next 10 year 10 years of land surveyors needed all right land management like I was saying um, so they do a couple different things for surveys. So we've got boundary surveys, uh, land subdivision, land development planning, environmental assessments, land conservation and preservation, land use planning, and regulatory compliance. So overall, you know, land management surveyors play a vital role in balancing the needs for development and environmental conservation and community interest by providing accurate survey data and technical expertise and strategic guidance. So there's, like I said, different opportunities. Land management's one of them. Next, we're gonna go ahead and talk about construction layout or construction staking that a lot of people can do. 
So, also known as site layout or site engineering, involves the process of transferring design plans from paper or digital formats to the actual construction site. So it's a crucial phase in the construction process, ensuring that the buildings, infrastructure, and other structures are accurate or built accurately and according to the design or plan. So construction layout is typically performed by surveyors or engineers and involves the following key steps. So one, like take a look at this one for instance, interpreting the design plan, uh, establishing control points, transferring measurements, setting out reference lines, verifying accuracy, and as-built surveys typically when you're done as well. So this is just a little mock-up of, let's say, uh, a railway with a parking lot and everything, but as a surveyor, your job would be to go out there, place where the uh, asphalt's gonna go for the, um, let's say, the parking lot, or where the building's gonna sit, or where the railroad's gonna sit, so all this would be laid out by a surveyor. All right, next, topographic mapping. So everybody's kind of seen these, I'm sure, but uh, basically involves creating uh, detailed and accurate maps that represent the three-dimensional features of a particular area's surface. So these maps depict the elevation, contour lines, and various uh, natural and man-made features such as rivers, valleys, hills, roads, buildings, and vegetation. So these are pretty essential when it comes to building. Uh, you know, if you go and you just give a property to an individual, say in Kentucky versus Florida, if they don't know the elevation changes, it's going to be a little hard to, to know where the building's going to sit. You know, are they sitting five feet below? Um, let's say the water line in the state of Florida or you know do they have a you know thousand foot elevation change on that property in Kentucky you just never know without getting you know the elevations done or having a topographic survey so some of the things that you'll do for topographic mapping is data collection contour generation feature identification data processing and map production so just like we were talking about, you'll collect the data, go out there, you can do it via GPS, LIDAR, uh, you can do it by hand. There's several different ways to capture the information. You'll create a map similar to the one that we've got up on here with all the contour lines and provide any features like for instance this one has a landing strip on it. If there's a gulch in there, a creek right here. So anything that there is you'll go ahead and you know identify those features process the data um, into a like a GIS or uh, certain software that you've got <clears throat> typically your company or organization will have that for you and then creating this map so then on here you can see we've got elevation change 3000 3540 so you'll have those elevation changes that you can provide to an engineer or whoever you're providing for your client showing you know what the elevations are in that area All right, so like I was saying, different ways to provide it. So you can see right here in this image, we've basically got a LIDAR. So they went ahead and detected it with a aerial LIDAR or a drone with a camera collecting all kinds of data points, doing the same thing, processing a map. And then right on here uh, is basically just creating a, uh, a map of a parcel. All right, geodetic surveying. So geodetic surveying is a branch of surveying that deals with accurately measuring and representing the Earth's surface on a global scale. So it involves the precision determination of the size and shape of the Earth, as well as the establishment of reference points and coordination or coordinate systems, my apologies, for mapping and navigation purposes. Geodetic surveying plays a crucial role in various fields. Uh, cartography, geophysics, satellite positioning, navigation systems. So all those are, you know, basically relied or, you know, use geodetic surveying. So again, with it, we can do Earth's shape and size, coordinate systems uh, for framework. You can do, uh, let's see, geodetic datums. So a datum is a reference surface 
used to define positions on points of the Earth's surface. So geodetic surveyors establish and maintain datums that serve as the basis for mapping and navigation. So there's a couple different ones out there, like the World Geodetic System or the North American Datum. And then we've got control networks. So geodetic surveyors establish control networks consisting of a network of precisely measured and monitored points. Uh, so these control points serve as a reference marker for surveying and mapping activities. And they are typically distributed across the region or country and used to tie in together other uh, surveying measurements. All right, and then we got satellite positioning. Everybody knows what that is. You've used GPS, whether it be Google, Waze, or what have you, uh, maps on Apple. So there's several different um, GPSs that I'm sure everybody's familiar with. And then geodetic data analysis, again, same thing, it's just monitoring it over time, seeing if, you know, elevations have changed, locations have changed, what have you. All right, next, boundary disputes. So boundary disputes arise when there's a disagreement or uncertainty regarding the location, extent, or ownership of property boundaries between adjacent landowners and entities. These disputes can be as can be complex and may involve legal surveying and negotiation processes to resolve. So an overview of it, so you've got the cause of boundary disputes. Could be somebody saying, oh, your fence is on my side of the property or your building's on my side of the property. You just never know what it's gonna be um, until you know that dispute comes up. Then you've got surveying and boundary determination. So that's when you're gonna basically resolve the boundary dispute is by providing a survey a legal analysis of it so boundary disputes involve legal analysis of property deeds title documents historical records and relevant laws and regulations to ensure that it's you know it is your property or is not your property depending on uh, the case negotiation and mediation litigation court resolution and enforcement and compliance so there's a lot of different steps that you'd be involved in if you were doing uh, land surveying or could be involved in for property disputes. Subdivision planning. So we all uh, live in an area where you've seen subdivisions, I'm sure. So basically large tracks turned into smaller ones for residential, commercial, industrial. So anytime you go into town, typically it started as a, you know, a larger track, 10 acres, 20 acres, whatever it might be. And then it was reduced and it now has an industrial area or uh, commercial buildings all along the, the roadway or what have you. And it has the zoning for the commercial, residential, industrial. So again, land surveyors are involved in subdivision planning and laying it out. Monitoring and control. Kind of talked about this a little bit with the GPS. Uh, so basically uh, looking for changes in the Earth's surface. So you'll put in like a control point here and then you'll look for variations. So if the earth's sinking, if you've got like a pothole, anything like that, you can uh, determine it by having that height, elevation, location, everything placed on one of the markers. And then from there you can tell or determine if the earth is, you know, falling or if there's a uh, underground water or something that may be causing it causing these crevices underneath so again surveyors are used for several different things even monitoring and controlling also uh, surveyors can work in several different areas so not only is it going to be uh, land surveying but there's mining there's uh, oil uh, oil and gas lines there's several different ways to or to work in land surveying besides just doing like property property lines all right so that kind of sums up uh, let's see got a question here what do you think about is that China made GNSS so I don't know enough about it to give a a great answer on it but um, if you want to send me some information or put it in the comment along with a, a good contact number 
I don't mind reaching out to you and letting you know, and we can provide some, you know, feedback. But I don't know enough about it to tell you, unfortunately. But if you guys do have any questions like that, that's great. You know, let us know. Or if you want to hear about a particular topic, we always like to know so we can uh, provide that for you. But thank you again all for joining today for the webinar. I hope you found this information valuable and gained some new insight into what a professional land surveyor does. Uh, overall, surveyors, like I said, play a vital role in the shaping and building build and the building environment and ensuring that the land is used efficiently and responsibly. So remember, uh, the learn doesn't end here. Stay connected with us on Facebook for updates and future webinar events. Uh, we're trying to host one every single month. And if you guys have any special topics, again, let us know so we can go ahead and create one for you in the up and coming months. If you have any further questions or want to revisit, revisit today's discussion, the recording will be available on YouTube. Thank you again, guys, for watching. Until next time, my name is Chris with NLC Test Prep.